Brunei youth have been accused by the governor of Eastern Equatorial State, Governor Luis Lebon, of attacking and stealing herds of cattle from boar cattle keepers in Maui County of Eastern Equatorial State. However, the Mule youth denounced the accusations by Governor Lobong. Join us as we discuss this and more only on Beyond the Headlines. Our guest on the program is Mr. David Giro Yankon, the chairman of the Mule Community Youth Association in South Sudan. Welcome to Beyond the Headlines. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate even the Sunrise Media for having actually welcoming me in this uh, in this brief uh, interview. I uh, thank you all. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're welcome. Over a week ago, a cattle camp occupied by cattle keepers from board was attacked. Scores of people were killed and cattle were stolen. The incident happened in Mugali in Magui County of Eastern Equatoria State. Did the Mula youth attack the cattle herders and steal the herds of cattle? Uh, actually, uh, what has happened, uh, it, is, was, it was unfortunate uh, that uh, the, 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 the boar uh, cattle herders were killed in, in Mogeli, in Magwe County of Eastern Equatorial State. Uh, and actually just want to respond to the question that does the youth from Bibor or the Murle youth have attacked the cattle herders in Mugali. Uh, the answer is our youth have not carried any attacks in those areas because uh, there's a long distance between uh, Eastern Equatorial State and Bibor administrative area. So leave alone uh, even Mugali, which is actually bordering to, to Uganda. So in which our youth, I think there is no way and there's no even uh, the rooms for them to move from uh, GPA crossing to Tore Town up to uh, Mogali, which is actually bordering to, to Uganda. So our youth have never carried any attacks and, uh, and that, that is just, we call it as accusation to our youth. You have stated that the statement issued by Governor Luis Lobong, the governor of Eastern Equatorial State is defamatory and provoking. As you stated, Mule youth from Pibor attacked the cattle camp. You've also stated that there is no clear evidence that shows the involvement of the Mule youth in the attack. Why do you think Governor Luis Lobong would make the statement that the Mule youth are involved in the attack if he did not have information about it? Yeah, actually, uh, actually, just uh, you know, to answer it for you. Uh, Honorable Luis Labon went on, on the air and issued a statement that uh, the conflict which is happening in, in, in Mogali, it is between the people of Dongole states and, 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 and people from the greater people administrative area, especially Murle youth, uh, in which for us, uh, as, as, as the Murle youth community uh, leadership, uh, we have never where, uh, we have never get any of them that shows these are our youth that have attacked uh, the cattle leaders of uh, Bor in, in, in Mogali. First of all, there is a distance between uh, Eastern Equatoria and, 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 and Bibor administrative area. So if it was in the areas of Lafon and areas of, you know, areas of Lopit, uh, so yes, we could have said yes, uh, this might have been our youth because it, we are bordering with those areas. But it is a Mogali which is actually inside uh, bordering with Uganda. So in between in between Mugale and 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 and, 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 and Torit itself, there are some towns within these places. And even Torit town it is it is between uh, Greater Bibor and, and Mugali. So the question is how did the youth from DPA comes across entering even into the Torit town and going up to Mugali? Meanwhile the government of Eastern Kotori are there. So if they were to be from uh, GPA, I think the government of, uh, of Eastern Equatorial could have stopped them because this is the area belong to them. So first of all, uh, Luis issued a statement without clarifying how comes that the youth from GPA entering into this state. So, but for us, we went also, uh, you know, to, to find out if it is true 
that our youth are involved in the attacks. So we found that our youth have never carried any attacks. Our youth have never even participated in all this cattle raiding between uh, the cattle ladders and the farmers in, 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 in Eastern Equatorial. So that's why we said, uh, I stated even myself that uh, the statement issued by Luis, it is provoking because uh, we have no any problems with the people of Eastern Equatoria. Of course, there is there is a com intercommunal conflict between the people of GPA and and, and Dongole, actually the Nkabo community and Mudley community. So and all these com uh, all these uh, all these conflicts that are actually within our areas. Uh, so the Nkabo goes to our area, and for us, we uh, our youth comes to their areas. So there's no one that could come from EPA going up to Uganda to go and attack uh, the people of war in, 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 in Uganda. So Mogali is actually bordering with Uganda in which there is, that, there is a distance for it that our youth could not be able to reach that place. So and, and this, this was an unfortunate statement actually from Luis. There is a video circulating online of suspected Mule youth holding modern weapons while guarding suspected stolen cattle. What do you have to say in regards to this video that's circulating, for instance, on Facebook? Yes, uh, I have come even across to these uh, videos being circulated on the social media. And all these, social, uh, all these videos, uh, these were the videos of 2020. You know, I think you remember, if I take you back, it was, there was a conflict erupted between people of Jongole states and people from Greater Bimbora and City area, especially the Gawar and the Launer, including the Nkabo. So they went up to up to up to Kumuruk. They they they, they invaded all these areas. The invasion was even continuous up to the areas of Kengan. So our youth from uh, from Irit and, and the areas of uh, Bubet, they actually ran with their cows. They ran with the cows for hiding. So this is where that they come up to even Lafon. So they enter into the, uh, the, the part of the Spinning Couture. So they, they were hiding with their cows. And even the cows, the pictures of the cows, these are not the cows from war. These are actually the cows belong to Murli community. So because there were even the wounds, uh, you know, so you see even, even the, the pictures, that there's different between the cows for war and, and the cows of Murli. So our, they are very short, they are not that tall. So even the pictures shows that these are the cows from Murli. So, and these are the, to, to, to prove it for you, these were the cows our youth were hiding, running from the from, from Gumuru and the areas of Manyabor to Eastern Equatoria for hiding when 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 the invention between of uh, Gawar and the Kabor uh, went up to Gumuru. So they banned all these places, including even the Manyabor itself. So our youth were run with their cows for hiding in the Eastern Equatorial parts. So that was it was June and July. So and even when you see when you see the picture, even itself, it is actually during the rain season. So that was for June and, and July. So our youth were hiding there until uh, August. The poor uh, youth and Gower, they went back to, to, to their territory in, in Jungle Estate. This is whereby our youth went back. And even the questions which were asked to our youth. So how many days were run from, from Manyabol to, to, to that area? It is actually took for them two days or three days. So this was the, this was the circulated uh, videos. It is for 2020. And the cows, it is not even the raided cows. These were their own cows on our youth. Youth went by during the attacks in, 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 in June in June in 2020. The chief administrator of Greater Pribor, the chief of Greater Pribor administrative area, Lokoli Ame Bulen, made the following statement that states: How can people from Greater Pribor go too far away to Eastern Equatoria? We have Kapoita cattle keepers here in Boma, and we never raided them. If our youth are the ones raiding cattle, why would they not raid the cattle in Boma? However, it has been alleged that there are some youth from Magui County who assisted the Mule youth to locate the cattle camp occupied by the Dinkabor and then go ahead and attack the camp. What do you have to say about this? alleged allegation no that one is not true so how comes that if 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 if, if the youth from eastern equatoria while well, they want to assist our youth to go and raid the cattle and that times it is not our youth actually we are doing that that one it is the past 
to the same people of Eastern Equatoria and the one looting the cows from, uh, from, from people of, of Dongole State. Because how comes that the youth from GPA to come and, and have agreement with the people of Eastern Equatoria, which we are not neighbors with, so in which we, are, we have no any interaction with them. So we never shared anything with them so that they, they were used to come and, and, and you know, convince them so that they can share the, what is happening. And actually, even, even the question is, should they, how comes that even the youth of Eastern Equatoria allow people outside to come and join with them to attack people? So when the problem comes, we come to them. So that one is not true. And we can just surpass that. Yes, these were the problems between the pastoralists and the farmers. The people of Eastern Equatoria are responsible of the attacks of, 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 of the cattle of, 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 of the, 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 the cattle herders from both. So these are not the Murli. And to make it very clear to the world and the, the people of South Sudan that our youth have never even come to that side. And our youth have never carried any attacks to that side. Since then, our youth have never gone anywhere. So we, we talked to them in regard to the peace agreements so that were, 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 were signed between even the jungle estates, uh, communities, and people in administrative area. So if it is something happened between the people of the state of Equatoria and people from jungle estate, it would be their responsibility. That does not even mean that our youth could come and, and have agreement with the people of Eastern Equatorial, especially those of Mahdi and Sholi. And even this uh, Mahdi and Sholi, they don't have even, we don't have a vivid bothering. We are not bothered with them so that our youth could know themselves. And this, if you could have talked of, you know, Boya and Derenga, so we are speaking one language, of course, we, it can be happened. But these are not, these are not, these are not Derenga and these are not Boya because Boya are not part of that area. So the area just belong to Asholi and, 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 and Mali. So means we don't have any, 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 any border with them. So that one cannot happen. Once again, once more, the chief of Greater People Administration, Lokoli Ame Bulen, has stated that due to the lack of schools, healthcare systems, and roads, just generally basic services, the youth of Mule have resorted to cattle raiding. Is cattle raiding a source of survival for some of the youth from Mule? Uh, that one we cannot say it is a culture because the issue of raiding of cattle it is not actually reported only in the, in the, in the part of, you know, in Greater Jungle region or between Mule and only that are the one raiding the cattle. I think even you find when you go to the side of, you know, even in Barcazal, you find people are raiding cattle. Even in black states, you, you go even to the unity states. So the people of unity state, they come and raid me even in the, in the Warab state and all these areas. So that one is not a culture of any tribes. Then we can say, yes, the Murle tribe are the one being, you know, uh, having that uh, hard of uh, being a, uh, you know, involved in, in the cattle raids. So that one is just, a, it is just a practice of being the people of South Sudan as a whole. So it is not only Murle who are doing that. And I think even now what is happening in Eastern Kutori. So the, 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 the Asholi and Mali are the one now attacking the war and, and they're at the cattle. And these are Murle. They are also the Murle. So we can say, yes, these are the culture of social and if it is a culture. But if it is just a practice of individuals and the criminals, we can just term it as a criminal issues between, you know, any, 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 any bordering communities who are actually having a cows. It is, not, it is not a culture. I can just tell you it is not a culture. It is just a criminal activities being done by the videos, not a community as well. In the press statement that was made by the chairman of the Boer community, Dr. Agok Gordon Kual, he stated that these targeted and coordinated genocide attacks on the civilians resulted in loss of many lives, followed by the Wednesday attack, which claimed 32 lives, whereas 33 civilians were wounded. Among those who lost their lives are 13 children, 11 women and eight men, while five children, three girls and two boys were abducted. Is there a culture among the Mule people of abducting children? Whenever they attack a community, it seems like children are abducted. Why is this practice carried out? Yeah, actually, uh, in regard to the issue of abduction, uh, so many people that it passes to be the culture of Murle community, in which it is a wrong concept. People have taken that wrongly to term it as it is a culture of Murle people. So actually, when you talk of you know people are attacking themselves and you know abducting children, 
It is not only happening in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Murule people. So I think you remember, even all these days, people are reporting even children, that the people aboard, they're also, you know, breaking the kids, are taking back to, to, to people. How these kids enter to them. So means they're also abducting the kids. Means they're also abducting the women. So they are taking even the people shelter. So it is it, it, the, the issue of abduction night become even the, the the culture of the of the three tribes and actually in the in the, in the jungle region. It become the issue of Murle, it become the issue of Nuer, and become issue of, 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 of the Nkabor. Because the Nkabor, well, once they go to Murle areas, they too take the, the children, including even the women. The same to Nuer, the same to Murle. Whatever they go to any land, they do take the children. And the issue is uh to, to to take you back, actually the culture of abduction was not our it was not the, the, the Murle culture. But because something, you know, people are learned through uh, through what people are, are, also, are also teaching others. So our, our people were teach by the Nkabur community when they when they sell uh, you know their kids to Murli. So maybe the, the, the somebody who is actually feeling like to to go and abduct. It seems like you know buying the state buying from board. Let me go and abduct. So that's what it is where this is where but the abduction happened because they they used to sell the children to, to Murli with between 15 cows and 30 cows. Now for the criminal who think that for him to, to benefit on that is in a state of buying a child with uh, you know with, with, with 30 or, or, or with, with 15 cows, so it has to go and abduct and take a free of charge. So this is what is happening. The, the country is, is not our country. Actually, the country is for both who are selling the kids. They are abducting their own children and they sell to the Murli community. And this is the problem. Is now they term it to be the problem of Murli. After they were the first to start. So I can tell you that this is not a country. It is not our country. It is not our country. These are just the practice of being of, 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 of criminals. The number of criminals who are doing that. It is not, it is not, it is not a, it is not a something that's been agreed by the community in order for them to abduct. It is not even in part of our laws. Uh, the Murli community to abduct somebody. Yes, welcome. Yes. So, are you saying that the board, the ones who started the culture of selling their children to the people of, of Murlain, Pibor? Of course. And then the Murlain learned that behavior from Dinkabor. Yes, this is this is this is what is happening. Now, when the Murlain go ahead and abduct the children, what happens to the abducted children once they arrive in Pibor? And that one is it is a question to the criminal. So whatever we call it, somebody who say who is who is abducting the child, that question will go to that person because we can ask. But well, you're the chairman you of somebody the... child, what are you going to use? Of course, I'm the chairman of Murde user, but I'm not participating in the abduction. So that it is a criminal. These are the criminals who are doing that, and they know what are going to use for these children. But as the chairman, you should have knowledge of the behavior patterns in your community, both good and bad. Oh, oh. Of, of course, uh, that one is my, but because uh, the, those who are, who, who, who are abducting the children, they are the very rare people. These are the criminals, you know. It is very hard for you to find the criminals, to, to, to talk with the criminals, because once you find the criminal, the prisoner will be, will, the criminal will be taken to the court. So they do run, whatever we get them, so they can run and, and we take the, the children back. That's why we normally, whatever we get, the, 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 the abducted child, we get the abducted child, we take back to the, to the owners. So, but you find even the criminal has already run, so we could not able to get an, an ask. So, what is the use to abduct the child? So, that would question it is it is not addressed to me, but it would be addressed to the criminals who are doing that. And also, it might also address to even the, the people who are selling the children, like especially the Gabor. So, what what are they benefiting when you send your own child to to, to, to someone? Is that is that one a culture or is it just a criminal activity? So, we couldn't defy up to now. So it becomes even something that it is a business between the criminals and the criminals. Because whatever, when, when they when they Nkabora abduct the children, they abduct from their own people. They do take to the Murli people and go and sell them. And when they sell, they don't sell to the right people. So they sell also to the criminals like them. So these are the criminal activities between the two. Now, as the chairman of the youth, of the Murli Community Youth Association, what are you doing to ensure that the Mule youth are not participating in this adverse behavior of cattle raiding. What is your role as the chairman? So actually, as a, the, the, the Mule community youth leadership, so we are engaging with the government and the states and the community leadership to make sure that uh, all this practice 
that has turned to be to be a culture. People are calling us as a, as a culture of Murli. So to stop, uh, we engage with the government in order for, for the government to, 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 you know, to enforce the law. Uh, once the, the law is enforced, uh, the criminal are, are, are captured and put in the prison and sentenced in accordance with the laws of the states, then uh, it would be free us from having all these uh, chaos or all these names that people are naming against the Murli people. So, and also even the community leadership is also encouraging that to make sure that the, the government is doing the the the, the aid uh, necessary uh, force to make sure that whatever we get the criminals will be put in the prison and sentenced in accordance with the law of the states. So, and according to the law of the, 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 the Republic of South Sudan. So, because it is it is actually unlawful for somebody to take someone's child. It is not good at all. And it isn't even good for you to send your own child to someone which is not part of that family. It is not good. So all the two, uh, the, the people of, of, of GPA, uh, the people of, 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 of Murli community. So we, we, we discourage that because we don't want someone, the child to be taken and given to a wrong, a, a wrong family. So we are working on that with the government. And, uh, and I think even the, the, the current government are also working on that to make sure that all the criminals involved in the child abduction are brought into book. You shared a video of an attack that took place against the Mulay refugees in Ethiopia, which was carried out by the Anua community that reside in Ethiopia. Can you go ahead and talk about that? Yeah, actually, actually yes. Uh, actually, there is, there is, there is an attack, uh, and this attack was happening. It happened the day before yesterday, uh, actually in the evening hours and continues even in the morning. So as I shared to you the video, so, the attack was carried by a new community in, the, in, in Dima, actually in Ethiopia, in the region of, 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 uh, of uh, Kambela region, in the Kambela region. So the attack could not able to identify itself, but we, it, it was that the host community of a new community were in that area, that the one carried the attack. So they come at the attack the Murli community who are refugees in that area. So uh, the refugees were fled in the, in the year 20, uh, 2013, uh, actually, in 2020, 2012 up to 2013, during the conflict between uh, the Cobra Function led by General David Yawiyah Jankush and, and the government forces. So, the, the Murli they played to, to Ethiopia. So, the way they were hosted in, in Dima camp. So, this is where they were attacked the day before yesterday. So, the attack continues even up to yesterday. And I've even we talked to our people, the tension was still high because our people are still under the police. And the reason of attack is not an identifier to now. Of course, we have been so following of a statement issued by uh, by Newark, so that the rebellion being formed against the Murli community, in which they term it as a demand of administrative area for Anyuak community. So, in which uh, they, they, they level, they make a lot of accusation against the Murli. So, and for us, we never responded on that. So, we, we just see it and we ignore it because. It has not been demanding the state does not relate to any, any tribe. It does not relate to any community. So now they formed the rebellion and the rebellion that the, the first attack that was launched, they launched against the, 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 the civilian and the refugees in, in Ethiopia. So, and we, we could not be able to know. So what are they, the government of Ethiopia are doing actually because these are the people who are belong to them. And now they are carrying attacks. And, and, and then the rebellion which was formed, it is formed against the people of Ibo that these are the South Sudanese, uh, South Sudanese uh, people in, in of the, you know, the the the, 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 the of, of South Sudan, not the one of Ethiopia. But now the the, the, the carry attacks was a coordinated attacks. So according to to the information we received, uh, the, the attack was shared between the, the, the host community and even the Anyaku refugees also too, because they are speaking the same language, they are Anyaku the same at the same time. So they they, they went and attacked more. They were actually in that in that camp. And this is what was happening. Yes, thank you for joining me here on the program, Mr. David Ngiro Yangkong, the chairman of the Murlai Community Youth Association in South Sudan. Thank you for coming on Beyond the Headlines. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us hosting me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page at Sunrise Media.